Hey everybody, welcome back to Bob Key TV. Well, Perry Roubaix is in the books, but not without controversy. A Leah Viviani on the receiving end on something that has happened far too many times already this year. How many videos have I had to do about this? And believe me, this is the last thing I want to do. Let's take a look at it. And these images coming to us courtesy of Guy W. So thank you, Guy, for letting me use this. Peloton streaking through. This is the Forest of Arenberg. The inevitable crash occurs, which happens every year. And this shows you how hard it is to slow down. Guys, even a number of riders behind, trying to slow down, unable to do that. Viviani gets just absolutely creamed into the barriers by a TV motorbike that is too close, going too quickly. The Arenberg, it's the most treacherous stretch of road in all of professional cycling. Every single person knows. That's why the fans are there. It's a part of the spectacle of cycling. And so the UCI needs to have clear rules of engagement between all of the cars and motorcycles in professional bike racing. I've asked for them to do that since early this spring when we started to see a lot of accidents happen between motorcycles, cars, and cyclists. And I feel like a broken record. We've We've reached critical mass. We're past the tipping point. Antoine Dumatier died because of this. Now, Elia Viviani, he went to Twitter. This is what he said. Oggi sono stato sortinato. Um, uh, um, I had some bad luck. At, but at the same time, I feel like the most fortunate in the world. Trauma to my chest and, uh, and a pair of abrasions and uh, four photos of the direct aftermath of the crash and uh, the cuts to his... Uh, to his chest and and the rest of his body. So uh, Viviani lucky not to be injured worse, but at the same time it completely Unnecessary the UCI needs to tell us what they're going to do about this at this point the UCI The dearth of leadership will be filled this void of leadership will be filled with more accidents unless they do something and so thanks to Guy W for this video and Brian Cookson, I'm asking you, what are you going to do about this? Something has to be done. Whether it's the number of vehicles that are allowed, whether it's the training, whether it's the rules of engagement between those vehicles and the Peloton, please lead us. I'm tired of doing these. What I'd like to do is the next video about this is report on the meeting between all the shareholders and the UCI about what they're going to do about this very, very dangerous problem that's already been lethal in professional cycling this year and how they're going to prevent that from happening in the future. So I'm going to have a full rundown uh, on this and uh, Pays Bosco, Peru Bay cycling is uh, uh, in the heat of the action. We're at the height of the season. All of these races leading up to the Tour de France and beyond. Uh, but look for Bob Key's broom wagon coming out on Tuesday to have a full follow up of all of the news that's pertinent in professional cycling. Uh, thanks, everybody. Comments, uh, subscriptions, and thumbs up if you like these. Follow me on Twitter and Facebook. And everybody that's subscribed so far, thank you very, very, very much. I need these subscriptions to keep going. UCI, where are you guys? Help us. We're the people that love you. We're the people that support you. Please help us. Thank you, guys. Um, and as he starts to move back towards his team car, it gets run down by the Edix team car. Um, this is taken uh, away to the hospital.